we designed nanoparticles that scatter strongly at a particular wavelength but are transparent at other wavelengths. And we put these nanoparticles into a polymer film to make a transparent projection screen. I'm Wei Chi. I'm a graduate student in Professor Marian Soyachich's group in the physics department. The idea is that this polymer film is almost transparent to, be, to the ambient light because most of the ambient light composed of wavelengths for which the nanoparticles are transparent. But if we project images or videos onto this polymer film at that particular resonant wavelength, then those projected light will be scattered strongly and will show up on the polymer film and will be as if we were looking at a regular projection screen. Using this concept, we demonstrated a blue color transparent display using silver nanoparticles. This approach has some advantages. For example, it has wide viewing angle, it is simple to fabricate and to use, and it's also economical. Metallic nanoparticles can have resonant light scattering properties because the incoming light can excite the collective oscillation of the conducting electrons in the metal. That is called a localized surface plasma resonance. The same concept here can be also be used to realize a green color or a red color transparent display. Also, it is possible to combine different types of nanoparticles or use a multi-resonant nanoparticle to realize a three color transparent display. The confinement of light is very important both for basic science and for a number of applications, for example, lasers and optical communications. In addition to the conventional ways to confine light, there is also this special phenomenon called a bound state in the continuum, where light is confined because the outgoing waves destructively interfere and cancel each other. Basically, you have different paths for the light to escape, but these different paths cancel each other. The bound state in the continuum has a long history of theoretical study, going all the way back to 1929. However, the prior studies involve systems that are not easy to realize. They are too complicated to be uh, experimentally tested. Here, we were able to come up with uh, this phenomenon uh, realized in a very simple system, in a single layer of dielectric material with some periodic patterns. This is called a photonic crystal slab. So with members in our group, including Bo Zhen and uh, Zhong Wong Li, we were able to fabricate this structure and uh, characterize it. We found that at a particular wavelength and a particular angle, there is indeed a state that does not radiate and that is perfectly confined in the photonic crystal slab. And that demonstrates the existence of this special confinement of light. This is the first time this phenomenon is demonstrated experimentally. By measuring the reflectivity of the sample, we are able to detect the resonances in the sample and then measure how long do they sustain their oscillations. What we found was that at a particular wavelength and a particular angle, the state can oscillate indefinitely, and then it does not radiate. It's perfectly confined in the photonic crystal slab structure. And that demonstrates the existence of this special way to confine light.